Monthly market update for November 2022. Let's see if we can make some sense on what's going on in the real estate market. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? Ed Yannette here, your favorite real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. And I am coming to you today to talk about the October statistics that just came out on the real estate market here in Savannah. They just came out November 1st, which was two days ago. And um, there's a lot to talk about, a lot of stuff going on. You know, you've got the Federal Reserve uh, raising interest rates, you've got inflation, you've got elections and all this other stuff. And you, you, I want to keep you informed on what is actually going on with the housing market in our area here in Chatham County. Um, now, these are the statistics for October, and then we'll review some for September. So you get a good idea where, where we've been and where we're going. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is there are a ton of slides. There's probably, I don't know, nine or ten of them. So this is going to be probably about a ten minute video. So it's going to be a little bit longer, but you're going to learn something. All the statistics and slides came from the Savannah Multiple List Corporation, which is our MLS, which I'm a part of. And um, if you want a copy of this, I've got a PDF that I've made up that I'll link in the uh, description. Or if you're on Instagram, I'll put a link in the bio. And also, if you want statistics for your neighborhood, I can send you the same type of statistics. It, you just have to message me. So you can uh, text me at 912-844-9000 or message me on any of the social media platforms and I'll, I'll get that neighborhood specific for you um, uh, sent right out. But um, anyway, these statistics are, uh, gosh, the, our, our MLS goes from uh, basically Brunswick down to St. Simons to gosh as far as Statesboro but the majority of the listings I'd say 95% of them are going to be in you know the Savannah area Tybee Wilmington Island Skidaway Island Richmond Hill Georgetown uh, you know going up to a couple in Hinesville um, uh, quite a few obviously Pooler uh, Effingham County Guyton Rinkin in that area uh, that that's our you know center of concentration so it, it is a, it is quite a uh, quite a lot of statistics and quite um, um, uh, uh, expansive the area that um, that that our MLS covers uh, so so it is a lot of data and it's it's good data so um, all right well let's uh, let's get into this um, First thing I want to talk about, and I'm going to be looking here at my computer off to the side here, are um, homes for sale, okay? The total number of homes for sale on the market. That has jumped up quite a bit in the last three months, really, four months. Uh, last September, see, we're talking about October statistics today. In September, the total number of homes listed was 5,745, okay? That's a lot. All right, and it's jumped up in October. It jumped up by a little over a thousand. Was it a thousand? No, I'm sorry, about 500. It jumped up from 5,745 to 6,072. So 6,272 is the number of listings that we had last month. Okay, that's the total market. All right. Now this, this is what I was trying to figure out in my head, but I didn't do a good job of it. Is the number of new listings? Number of new listings in September. There were a total of 1,017. The number of new listings in October, okay, that was 1,003. So pretty flat, but still down. It's, it's, it, they, the number of new listings have come down, which means that less people are trying to sell their houses right now. All right, then the next slide that we've got, the next bit of statistics is the number of closed sales, okay? This is the number of closings that happened during the month, okay? So in September, we had 992 closings in all of our MLS, okay? That was in September, 992. In October, we had 876, okay? That's still pretty good. We're well above historical averages as far as the, you know, you'll be able to see on the slide. Um, it goes back, I think it goes back to 2017, but we're still higher than historically we were in 17, 18, 19. Uh, so that's good. All right, now the next one is pending sales. Now this is where it falls off the cliff, okay? In October, we had 779 pending sales. 779 in, in September, okay? In October, we had, we had 476, 476 pending sales. That means that a house went under contract in October, it's probably gonna close, okay, in November. So the pending sales for October become our sales in November. I hope that makes sense, okay? So again, it, let me go back here. 
if you look at the pending sales in September, were 779. That means that those, chances are those 779 closed in October. So you can see the closed sales were 876 and we had pending sales of 779. So that's pretty good. But this number of 470, 476 for pending sales for October, um, that's real low. That's lower than it's been in, I don't want to say in the history, but in as far back as these statistics go that I have, uh, 2017, being in 2017. All right, now, it's, this, is, this is funny, okay? The next one is median sales price, which is the average sales, not the average, but the median sales price uh, for a home in Chatham County and the surrounding area went up, which to me is kind of counterintuitive because interest rates are up, you know, uh, inflation, all the doom and gloom, but the average, the, I keep saying average, but it's not average, it's the median home price. And the median home price went from 290,000 up to 305. So the median home price in September was 290, in October it was 305. All right, now the next one is the uh, price per square foot, which is something a lot of people like to focus on, which is kind of silly, but um, it, it, it's a decent benchmark to compare you know, apples to apples as far as, okay, this one's, uh, this price per square foot is this, this price per square foot is that. But anyway, the price per square foot in September was $170 a square foot. The price per square foot in October was $170 a square foot. So it was unchanged. Then the next one we've got here is median days on market. Now this is this is a little bit confusing, counterintuitive. Uh, doesn't make any sense, uh, but it does, and I'll explain why. Days on market, median days on market is 27 days. Okay, that was in September. September median days on market was 27 days. October's was 34 days. Okay, so it went up. Now days on market. These are for the homes that have sold, okay? And you can see from the chart that historically, it, it, that we're still way, way low as far as days on market. Normally, days on markets, I would say on average, historically over the last 10 years is probably 60 days, 70 days. Uh, this chart only goes back to 2017, like I said, but um, um, so we're still very low. But what's happening is that when houses come on the market that are in great condition, they're selling quickly, like within a day or two, three, obviously around three, 34 days. So there are a lot of homes, because we can see from the inventory, which is 6,200 plus homes, there are a lot of homes that are just sitting, okay? And we're gonna get more into that in a second here. But month supply, uh, month supply, you can see it shot up tremendously in the last three, four, five months. But um, uh, in September, it was 4.7 months supply of homes. Uh, in October, it was 6.3 months supply of homes. Now, what that means is that if we didn't list any more homes today, it would take 6.3 months to sell all the existing inventory, okay? And anything over six months, it becomes a buyer's market. Anything under six months is a seller's market. That's been, you know, that's a general rule of thumb historically. But this has kind of changed a little bit, but it, it definitely has turned into a buyer's market with the increase in inventory, so. All right, next we have got, um, now these are important, which a lot of people don't know, we never talk about this, but this is median, median number of showings to pendings, which means if you're under contract, how many showings you had before you went under contract, all right? That's gone, in September it was eight showings per contract, okay, and, oh, sorry, I just touched the microphone, I hope it didn't make noise. Uh, anyway, it was eight showings per median, pending, which, which is per contract, under contract, it jumped up to nine. This just shows that more people are looking at more homes, and so you're getting more showings before you get a contract, okay? Now, the last slide that we've got, this one is super, super important, because this is something that, if you are listing your home, you have got to make sure it's in great condition. Because like I already said, the homes that are in great condition or are great deals, if people are just, you know, if they're slashing prices and it's a great deal, but more times than not, it's because the home's in great condition, it's staged, it looks good, they've done all the things that either the realtors told you to do or you know you should do when you're selling a house, okay? Um, media, uh, number of showings per listing has gone down from 2.3 to 2.2. Now all this shows us, and you can see the graph, 
Um, now this graph it only goes back to 2021 because we didn't have the statistics for the number of showings per all the listings. And I think that has to do with our lockbox, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, that's gone down. So when you get a showing, it is super, super important that you are ready. House is clean. It, it's in great condition. Everything's picked up. And you're ready to roll because you're not going to get a lot of showings. So when you get a showing, it's worth its weight in gold. So I hope this, this, these help you. There's a lot of statistics. Like I said, I'll have the PDF in the description or in the link in the bio if you're watching this on Instagram. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, message me, text me. Again, my number is 912-844-9000. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of craziness going on right now in the world. Uh, and, and as far as um, real estate's concerned, the interest rates and the Federal Reserve and you know, uh, recession and all this stuff. But the, the real estate market right now is in pretty good condition. And there's a bunch of reasons uh, 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 structurally with mortgages and mortgage lending practices and stuff like that. And also the inventory um, uh, that, you know, it, it, it's a great time to buy a house. If, if you're willing to, uh, to go out and look and you're qualified and, and can get a mortgage, it's a fabulous time to uh, buy a house. So anyway, if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to me. Uh, again, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.